y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brittany and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos I usually focus on fashion beauty luxury lifestyle fragrances and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about so if that seems like something that you may be interested in please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content of course also if you're already a subscriber go ahead and click on that notification bell I tend to upload once or twice a week which is on Sundays and Thursdays so I don't want you to miss a thing so today's video is going to be about some of my favorite home fragrances. If you're not new to my channel, you would know that I talk about fragrances a lot, um, but I don't always talk about like my favorite home scents. So I decided to make a dedicated video just so that everything that I love, at least at the moment, can have a place to live. So if you guys are interested in hearing about some of my favorite home scents, then stick around. Okay, y'all. So y'all know I love a good scent and that does not just stop with scents that I wear on my body or fragrances. I love a good home scent as well and I like things from all different price points so today I do have a plethora of different like price points to talk about and I want to start this video off with some of my most affordable home scents and these are the Bath and Body Works wallflowers you guys these are a game changer for your home especially if you have an open concept home and you need something that's going to you know fill up the room I highly recommend the wallflowers from Bath and Body Works I do like Bath and Body works candles but I have a ton of those and I need to get through those I don't use those as much anymore but the wallflowers are definitely ones that I love okay so I have a few of my favorite scents here now the wallflowers usually retail for like around seven dollars and 95 cents but I always get them on sale um you know when Bath and Body Works does their coupons which is pretty often they usually go for around three dollars and something so these are some of my favorites here so one of my favorite wallflowers for all year round is the rose water and ivy scent now this wallflower, you guys, is super strong, but it's very fresh. It has a rose scent, but it also has like this watery type of vibe to it. It's hard to explain. Very fresh and rosy. I mean, it's it's so beautiful. I love it. But I only use this in my downstairs area on my first floor because it is so potent, so strong. So it needs to fill up a larger space. And I have an open concept home. So if I plug this in, whether it's in my um, kitchen area or my living space here, it's going to fill up my entryway. It's going to fill up the area to my garage, my dining area, everything. So really, really, really love this. It's a beautiful scent for spring in summer but I love my home to smell fresh and elevated um, throughout the year so this one is a really good one and I love it so much y'all so my next favorite is rose water and sandalwood now this is one that I really love it's a little bit more elevated in my opinion because though it's very fresh and it has that fresh rose scent the sandalwood really does ground this and I love a sandalwood smell like in my home so I highly recommend you all get the rose water and sandalwood um it's really 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 good this is what it looks like if you guys are wondering but if I can find these online I'll definitely link them down below um sometimes they don't have all of the wallflower you know options online so just check locally you know we all have a bath and body work somewhere near so next up I have sensual amber and sensual amber is definitely like an ambery almost like a sweet amber kind of fragrance it reminds me a tad bit of baccarat not too much not too strong but it is good i would say for um your entire home this is one that i can use in my bedroom because it does not is not as strong or potent in my opinion as the rose water the rose water is very sharp um but this amber you know it's a softer scent so it works well in like a smaller space like your bedroom or if you have a closed off like loft um or something like that but i also like this for my first floor as well it's really 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 beautiful and it smells elevated all of these bath and body works wallflowers that i'm mentioning are scents that make your home smell expensive, if you will, very elevated. I am not a fan of scents that 
are they smell like food i feel like it makes my house not smell as clean as it needs to like i don't want a pumpkin pie scent or a sweet potato scent you know anything crazy like that cookies and all of that the the furthest i would go is maybe like vanilla birch you know so i like scents that are fresh or either very like spa like or sexy okay so highly recommend the sensual amber wallflower it is amazing, very sexy, perfect for the bedroom or your living space. The next scent that I really love is Palo Santo. I love the smell of Palo Santo. I have the candle in this and of course the wallflower. Now this wallflower I love to use in my bathrooms or even in my living space, but um, it's more so used in like my hallways or my bathrooms, okay? Really, really love this scent, very calming. Um, it can still be kind of sensual and, sex, and sexy in a way, but I really love this y'all. And the wallflower to me smells better than the actual candle burning. So just a little bit of a note there, but love Palo Santo. It's just Palo Santo too. So I love that. And the last scent that I really love is very soft and perfect for your bedroom. Right now I don't have it because it's in my loft, but it's called Suede Musk. Y'all, it is such a beautiful, like elevated scent. It almost smells like the Donna Karen um, deodorant, if you're familiar with that. It is so nice. It has this just nice, soft, musky scent. The Narcisco Rodriguez musk line puts you in the mind frame of that, okay? So yeah, these are my top wallflowers from Bath & Body Works, and these are very affordable and super accessible, so that's why I love these. So next up, I wanna talk about a couple of my favorite home sprays at the moment, and both of these are from Target. They are by the Hearth & Hand, um, brand and the first one is pompous now pompous is like a vanilla ambery woody scent i really like this for like my bedroom it's really nice i use this mainly upstairs because it has a little bit of a sweetness to it now when i'm downstairs i like i said i don't want to smell any sweetness because my kitchen's down here and i just like for those scents to be a little bit more on the floral side which this does have like a floral note in my opinion um but it's still a little bit more sweet so these are perfect for your bedroom your bathroom hallways and things like that of course if you love the scent you can put it wherever you want to okay but love 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 these i do believe that these are seasonal so if you are interested go ahead and get them they are online right now and i'll link it down below so the pompous is really good y'all they do have a candle in this i don't find that the candle burns in the same way as the spray smells, you know? Um, so that's why I didn't get the candle, but really, really like this for upstairs, especially my bedroom. And sometimes I may even throw it on my linen, you know, it's really good. And the next one I have here is called Salt and it's by the same brand. And guys, this is definitely like a dupe of like Santal 33 or one of the um, Lalabo scents, okay? Because it smells, just like it like it's crazy so i love to use this in my bathroom love to use this down here in my um entryway area and sometimes in my living room as well these room sprays y'all they are so potent like you smell these for a little while it's not like an air freshener where you spray it you smell it for 10 seconds and it's over like these last so i highly recommend these and they are very affordable these are around 6.99 so you can't beat it with a stick so if you guys are interested in these which is salt and pompous i highly recommend you pick them up immediately before they are gone okay so love these okay also speaking of target one of my favorite if not my most favorite like this is one that i repurchased this candle is everything. This is the Casa Luna Tranquility Candle. I first discovered this scent with um, the room spray and I cannot find it anymore. But that room spray, you guys, it was so calming. It was so tranquil. It was so spa-like. I fell in love with it. And that room spray, I used to use it on my linen all the time. It helped me go to sleep like it was just so beautiful so i really wanted the room spray but i can't find it anymore and i went ahead and picked up the candle now this is my second candle this candle is perfect for your bedroom or your bathroom that's where i like to uh keep this candle because 
it is so calming, okay? And it does say it has lavender and chamomile. It also has frankincense in there because I looked up the notes and it helps ease you into sleep. So that's why I love it. But if I was to explain this in my own words, to me, it smells like lavender for sure, but it almost smells like the freshest waterfall. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever been to like a waterfall and you, or like spring or spring and you smell the fresh water. That's what this smells like. It is amazing. And for this size, how many ounces is this? This is 24 ounces y'all. And I think it only retails for like $12. So super, super, super inexpensive. And it is amazing. And for it to be such a soft, calming scent, you can smell this. Just because something is a soft scent doesn't mean that it does not project. Like this is very, very, very soft. Like again, it smells like the cleanest and freshest of water, but it projects and it's really, really, really good. So again, when I take my baths, I love to uh, light this candle. And also I love having this in my bedroom. It is so good. Highly recommend the Tranquility candle, you guys. It's my favorite of the Casaluna line. I don't care for the other ones as much. They all smell good, but this one is the best. Okay, y'all, so now we're gonna get into a little bit of a mid price point. This candle is probably one of the best candles I've ever smelled in my entire life and for the price, okay? Like nothing beats this candle. There are candles that I love that are ex more expensive and of course they smell amazing. But this one here, I, oh, geez Louise, y'all. This candle, I have been using this scent in my home probably for four years now. And this is the Veluspa Blonde to back. This candle, this candle is my home. Like when I smell this candle, this is what I want my home to always smell like. This is what I think of when I think of a happy, beautiful, you know, home. This is what I think about when I think of a nice, um, super expensive spa. Y'all, this candle, nothing beats this candle. And it is a mid price point, but it's not too expensive. I believe this candle retails for like $38. And this is 11 ounces and it burns so well. Let me show you. I've been burning it. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but when I burn this, I love the fact that it burns super evenly and it just projects like no other it is the best scent even when you're not burning this when you have the top off you can smell it all the lust spa candles are really good as far as projection the way that they burn the hot throw but this scent nothing compares to this scent like if y'all get this you're gonna know what my house smells like this is the best they have diffusers in this as well honestly if I wasn't such a buyer, <laughs> a consumer, this would be the only candle that I would ever purchase. But I like a variety, you know what I mean? But this one, top, top, top tier, highly recommend it. You need it, like, just don't play with it, okay? This is the best candle ever. Every time I smell this, it's just, it's so good, okay? Love this candle. And it does come in a larger size as well, and I have that one. Y'all, I was so upset because I've had the large one probably for two years, but when it came to me, it was missing a wick. So it's a three wick, I believe, um, and one of the wicks was missing, so it burns unevenly and it really irritates me, okay? It really, really, really irritates me, so I don't like keep that one out as much, but absolutely love, love, love this candle. If you don't get anything else, you need this one, I promise. So I don't think we could talk about home fragrances without mentioning Jo Malone. I feel like Jo Malone is one of those home fragrances that like everybody has or at least are interested in. One of my favorites is the Peony and Blush Suede, Peony and Blush Suede. Love, love, love this candle, as you can see, she's gone. I do have a backup of this, but I love the diffuser even more, okay? The diffuser is really good. I recommend you guys get Jo Malone diffusers because they last you so long and I feel like you get more bang for your buck. So these candles, which are, how many ounces are these? I'm not sure of how many ounces this is, 
But for this size, you're going to pay around $70. For the diffusers, I believe they're $100, but they last longer in my opinion. I go through the peony and blush suede like nobody's business. To me, this scent, it smells just like the fragrance. It smells like peony and blush. Um, it's very fresh, but still very elevated. It is a floral scent, so you do have to like a floral scent. But I like this for my kitchen area. I like this for my living room area. This is an all year round scent, everywhere in your house scent, perfect for the bathroom, your bedroom, it's everything. Love, love, love this. And I also have my diffuser here. This is one of my backups. I love, love these diffusers. So highly recommend the Joe Malone in the Peony and Blush Suede, but the price point, to me, that's a small candle, you know, and it's not very decorative. So it's like, mm, I don't know, but it is good. And it's one of my favorite scents. So I will always purchase it, but definitely always get the diffuser because it looks nice and it lasts much longer. Now, another one of my favorite scents from Joe Malone, you guys, is the Velvet Rose and Oud. Now, I received this from one of you guys. One of my supporters actually sent me this for a housewarming, and I thought that was so sweet. And this candle is beautiful. The scent of this is so sexy. Now, this is more of an elevated scent. It literally smells like oud and rose. Kind of reminds me of maybe like Delina and... Um, Oud bouquet mixed. So I love this for my entryway because, you know, I would like people to smell this on the way in. This is good for the bedroom. Um, it's also great for the living room and it's black. So it matches my decor. I absolutely love, love, love this scent. And this size is quite expensive, you guys. So, you know, you do have to splurge on this, but I think it's worth it. And it is very strong. The hot throw is amazing and it, it really does project. Okay. So definitely recommend this. And I like the way it burns too. It burns very evenly, if you guys can see that. And I like the fact that the wax is black. Like it's so chic. It's such a chic decor piece. So that matters. You know, when you have something that you love the smell of, but it also goes with your decor, love that. Okay. So highly recommend the uh, Velvet Rose and Oud from Joe Malone. You can't go wrong. Now here is another rose and oud scent that I love. This is from my girl Ashley's line um, and this is called Curo Candles. Hers is Velvet Rose and Oud. It is a luxury scented candle and she's based out of London. I love this scent as well. Black owned. So I highly recommend you guys support her. Um, she only has these sizes and I like a big candle. So that's the only reason why I would, you know, go for the Joe Malone sometimes over this. But the scent is not the same either. This is definitely more of an oudy scent than it is a rose scent so if you like ouds and things like that this is beautiful i have burned this in my office i've burned this in my bedroom and of course in my living room and i love it love it love it so much so highly recommend this one um and i believe her candles retail for about 50 or 60 bucks um for this size and this is let's see 220 grams so, and it says it has a burn time of 40 hours on there. I would say that's about true. Maybe, maybe. I mean, mine is done, but I would say, look, you can see there's nothing in there, girl. Um, but I love this scent. So it does burn well. And I do recommend you get this because again, black on, we need to support our own. And the scent is amazing, y'all. The, the way that it projects is really good. Sometimes when people make candles and they're not like a big company, even like, like the Bath and Body Works candles, I feel like they're so popular because they're so good. Like you can smell them everywhere and they're super inexpensive. For her to like literally have created her own candle line, the hot throw on this is amazing. It projects all over the house. So that's why I love her candles. And there are other, you know, smaller businesses that I like, but I don't feel like they project as well. So love the Curo candles. Okay, y'all. So last but not least, one of my favorite candle brands is the Bob Bob candles. And I love these candles, but they are very expensive. But I will say that for the size and like, the craftsmanship, it's worth it. So this size candle retails for about $175. This is the Platinum Series. And this has like a scent of tuberose, 
like a little bit of a woody tuberose floral scent. Very soft, but the projection on this, y'all, is immaculate. Like, if this is down here on that table right there, I can smell this upstairs in my bedroom. I can smell this all over my entire house. So you may think $175 for a candle, wow. Yes, it is expensive, but look at how big this is and look at how beautiful the packaging is, y'all. This is, how many ounces is this? I'm not even sure, but this is the medium size. They do have an even larger size um, candle, and I think it retails for like $3.99. I feel like this is the best bang for your book. Look at how big the candle is. Like, all of this is candle, okay? And it is a four wick, so that helps with the projection as well. Y'all, the best. Now, again, this is the um, Platinum Series, so... They don't have names of the candles, like as far as the scents, they just call them like feathers or platinum series and things like that. Feathers is another one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, love these. And they do have diffusers as well, but I'm not really familiar with those. I just like the candles because they go with my decor, but also they are good. They are worth the price. So that's pretty much all of my favorite candles. I do want to talk about candles like the Tom Fords and the Diptyques. To me, they're not worth the price. Like this Tom Ford candle, you know I love my Lost Cherry. I use it, it's amazing. This was $140 for this small candle. It doesn't tell me the exact ounces on here, but I can just tell you right now, 140 compared to the 175 for that large candle, don't waste your time with these like you know, brand name type of candles because yes, Tom Ford candles, you can smell them everywhere, but this is too tiny for 140. I'm sorry. And the only time I get this is like during the Sephora sale. Okay. So love, love, love Lost Cherry. It is very, very, very potent. If you like Lost Cherry, but you feel like the fragrance does not last, this lasts. Okay. So this is good for the bedroom. It's very sexy. It's a sexy cherry. Good for the downstairs area. It doesn't really match my decor, but it has a cute little pop of color. So I do like this, but for the price point, I just don't think it's worth it. Also, the Diptyque candles. To me, Diptyque as a whole, and I talk about this when I talk about the fragrances, they don't project that much. Like, they're known to be a little bit on the softer side. They're not potent, you know? They do last on the skin, but they're not potent, super, like, you know, projecting type of scents. So that's the reason why I don't waste my time getting those. I know they are really cute and they are definitely um, very popular, but I don't love any, I don't love the scents enough to spend that type of money on the Diptyque um, line. And the one that I like just smells like vanilla. I forget the name of it, Figaro or something crazy, something like that. But the bays and the ones that like everybody gets, like to me, it's just, it's not worth, that's not what I want my home to smell like. So you're probably wondering like, why don't you have Diptyque? Of course, everyone has it, but I've tried. I don't like them. Um, and I would like to try maybe the diffusers, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. So if you guys like the Diptyque diffusers, let me know because I would probably be more apt to getting a diffuser than a candle because those candles, they just don't project enough for me. But yeah, y'all, that is the end of my home scents video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have several home scents, but I kind of wanted to do categories and just do my favorites in each category, if that makes sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will make sure to have everything that I can find linked down below for you guys. And yeah, I will talk to you on my next video. Bye, y'all.